Hi, you're with Chandeep at Goodly and let's take a look at the COUNTIF and the COUNTIF's function in Excel. Now the COUNTIF function is going to count but it has to got a condition based on which it is going to count. So if the condition is met, it is going to take account of it. If the condition is not met, it is not going to take account of it. Let's take a look at an example here. So what we are here to find is that how many sales did we do of product 1 and how many sales did we do of product 3. Right, so I'm going to apply a count if function where my condition is to count only for product one and then my condition is to uh, count only for product three. So let's take a look at how the count if works. So count if has, has got two inputs. What is your range and what is your criteria? As simple as that. So my range is this. In this range, I'm going to check for this criteria and close the bracket. Press enter. This is going to give you not dollar four, but actually a number four because you have four times product one. Now let's say I change this product 2 to product 1. Now you have 5 times of product 1 and this is going to update the number to 5. And you can see that that happens, right? Um, let's drag the formula down and first let's just lock the correct parts of the formula. So I'm just going to lock the ranges so that the range does not move here. And then drag the formula down and I can see that product 1 and product 3 both have got 4 sales each, 4 transactions each. Let's take a look at another example where you don't have just one condition to test, but you have two conditions to test. So here I want to find out all the, the number of transactions for product one and for product three, but for the region of north. So I have two conditions. The region should be meeting as north and the product should be equal to uh, product one or product three. So let's take a look at how will this work. So I'm going to say equals to count ifs this why ifs because this time I have multiple uh, criteria so I have two criteria so what is the first criteria range my first criteria range could be the range where I will check for the product or the range where I check for the region doesn't really matter so let's just go for the product first so I'm going to pick up product here lock that and the criteria in this range has to be product one so I could also just type inside the formula as product one that will also absolutely work fine but i'm just going to link it uh, i don't want to write it inside the formula i want to link it to a cell now the other condition is that uh, i also want to check for the region of north so in the criteria range 2 i will specify the cells which contain the regions and my criteria is that the, re the region should be equal to north i close the bracket press enter and i just get two transactions where uh, product one is equal to north and product one is again equal to north there are none other than that right so i'm just going to lock the cells properly and uh, here i will lock the column sorry here i will lock the row and here i will lock the column and drag the formula to the right and i will get the right answer so for product three north is coming three times so let's just take a look product three north is once product three north is twice and product three north is three times right so i get the formula right uh, let's take one more example the last one i have again two conditions here i have to find uh, how many transactions were uh, there where the, pro the the region was equal to north and the sales was above 5000 right so two conditions so equals to count if count ifs sorry equals to count if where i have two conditions the first criteria range could be here where i am writing the price because the sales and i have to find my criteria is that my sales should be greater than 5000 now, whenever you have to apply uh, an operator or something, so and also have to link to a cell. So this is how you do it. So greater than symbol equals to the operator comes in inverted commas, apply the and symbol and then link it to a cell. Right. That's how you do it. And then uh, my criteria range two is uh, this range. And in this range, my criteria is north. Right. I close the bracket and I press enter. There are six transactions where uh, the region is equal to north and the sales are more than 5,000. Uh, what I'm also going to show to you that what if you were to write 5,000 inside the formula, how would you write it then? So when you were supposed to write the formula and the, the criteria inside the formula, you put all of the criteria in inverted commas, no matter that is a number criteria or the text criteria. But if you're writing the criteria inside the formula, put all of that criteria in inverted commas. And there are six other formulas in Excel where you do it. So count if and count ifs, you have to write the criteria in inverted commas. Sum if and sum ifs, again, the criteria goes in inverted commas. Average if and average ifs, the criteria again go in inverted commas. That's a syntax, you do it that way. 
all right but if you have to link it to a cell uh, what you do is you write uh, equals to count if uh, and then you pick up your range and this is the range where i want to check for the criteria my criteria is should be greater than equal to and symbol and this cell and this is my uh, second range and the criteria in this range is this and I'm just going to lock that. Let's see what happened. Oh, I have used count if but actually they should have been count ifs because I have multiple conditions. All right, so now it's going to work. All right, so that was the count if and the count ifs function. I hope you like this video. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter and on YouTube and read all our blogs at goodly.co.in. Thank you so much for watching this and you take care of yourselves. Bye bye.